One of the issues with fill in the blank questions in any platform is that the answers are typically very literal. And this can pose a problem with math based questions. Uh, specifically, three is different than 3.0, which is different than 3.00. Even though they're all worth a value of three, it's whatever you put in is the right answer. So Schoology offers you a way to put in multiple correct answers for a blank. Here I am looking at a question in an, a quiz test assessment within one of my courses. You can see the problem is 3.70 plus 2.1. Well, mathematically the answer is 5.80, but a student might also put 5.8 and technically they're right. What I can do is click right below the blank where it says add an answer and that's going to allow me to put in a secondary answer. So I could put in 5.8. I could also put in 5.800 if I wanted. Now this is not making multiple blanks, it's making multiple possible accepted answers for this problem. And while mathematically it doesn't take into account the infinite number of decimal places that I could potentially have, it helps me get down to it and, and automatically grade this, taking in the most common answers that I could see. So it helps a little bit. The other place this is really helpful is if you have a question with multiple blanks in it, like this question that we pulled from phys ed. Two things that you need to play volleyball are blank and blank, and the answers are set to volleyball and a net. Now the problem is if a student answered net and volleyball, technically they'd get it wrong. So what I have the ability to do here is say volleyball or net for that blank and net and volleyball for this blank. That way it doesn't matter what order students put their answers in, they'll still get it right. But keep in mind, technically they could also answer volleyball and volleyball, if I spelled it right, or net and net and still get the question right. The other catch with doing this is if you're using a word bank, uh, and I have the example here, cleats, football, helmets, lacrosse sticks, your answers show up in the word bank and you will get two of these answers because you put them in. So your word bank might say cleats, football, volleyball, helmet, volleyball, lacrosse stick, net, net. So it does kind of give away what the answer is if you're using a word bank, just a heads up. For example, here's what that same question looks like to a student. You can see two things you need to play volleyball are blank and blank. I have two blank answers. And if you notice in my word bank, the words net and volleyball both show up twice. So yeah, a little tricky. But there you go. That's how to put multiple answers into a fill in the blank question. As always, if you have any questions about this or anything else, please feel free to email either Taylor or myself.